welcome up to Mo 40. We are been today with a great show and a great cast of folks with me today, too. One of the best chefs in town with me today. Oh, and, uh, Chef Paul. I was talking about Carson. Yes, of course, Carson. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, we're, we're here with uh, Dr. Goblin, and she's the president of our beautiful community college here in Martinville and in the county. And you're, you're spread all over. You and Stewart. Right. Yeah, we have a campus in Patrick County in Stewart. Patrick, yes, yes, you do. And and uh, but you know, Dr. Gowan, since you've been overseeing our, our school, we you know, so many improvements and so many things are going on. Said, so yeah, it's too many. I can't mention them all. I I I, I forgot more people than I know. But you know, the, the thing you have downtown now. Yes. Now I I, I, you, I got the grand tour when you. Yes, I'm over. so glad you came. And it was, I mean, it was, I mean, it's a little bit over my pay grade, but that is some high tech stuff in that place. We're very, very proud of you know Patrick Henry has such a really rich, rich history, Chef Paul. I mean, going on 55 years serving mm -hmm. this community. Um, but we are excited about some of the new things. I think that's one of the things that sets the college apart, that it stayed on the cutting edge. Yes, we're a part of the U.S. Uh, Fab Lab Network, and that is a MIT uh, level Fab Lab. We uh, started that on a very small scale, and it's over doubled. And uh, if someone has any idea about creating a new product, uh, you can start there and go from getting the idea out of your mind from concept all the way to... Uh, rendering it in a computer design to doing a prototype and ultimately printing it out with a 3D printer. So oh, I mean, that it's 3D just printer that way. Endless possibilities <laughs> there. In fact, we just kicked off recently our 30-day challenge, and so uh, go on our website at patrickhenry.edu and look at the 30-day challenge. It's an opportunity for inventors and tinkerers and thinkers in our community to come in and compete for 30 days in which we support you in trying to develop your new product or technology. We know that uh, this community is so entrepreneurial, it's cre created by entrepreneurs, and we just want to be a part of generating that, uh, promoting that entrepreneurial DNA in the community. We think the Dalton Idea Center in Uptown Martinsville is a, is a key component to our future there. I think, it, well, I say I don't know who thinks of all these smart things, but I'm glad they're doing it. And uh, are you having lots of, a lot of people coming in and trying this now? We this? absolutely are. Uh, we have a lot of brilliant faculty and staff, and we've been very excited about the response to the uh, to the Idea Center. It's given us an opportunity to showcase uh, uh, so many of the programs on campus. We have relationships with our General Engineering Technology Program. Uh, our industrial electronics program and also as you know we have a center for advanced film manufacturing that's a partnership between Eastman Chemical Company, uh, the Marksville Henry County EDC, uh, New College Institute and Patrick Henry Community College and we're wow. training people in the advanced films industry. Well you know when, when I was uh, a joint faculty over there, it's been a few years ago, you know we started the culinary program yes. which was you know, it was it was amazing what happened over there. You know how we put that thing together. It, it took a that's it. like anything else. It takes a while to get off the ground. Well, we appreciate your vision and leadership in culinary, and I think you'd be very proud, and I know you are, that it really uh, took root and, and you provided that original leadership. And now in culinary arts, it continues to grow. As you and I have talked many times, that we have an opportunity to build not only the culinary skills. Uh, but also the management, the hospitality, how it connects to tourism, uh, catering. In fact, we're very excited that we're moving uh, all culinary arts back to the main campus. And we will have a student-run uh, Patriot Cafe come this fall. Students will actually uh, be preparing the food, uh, doing the serving, and, and it will run our own cafe. We think that's a kind of business experience that will also give our students a, a cutting edge. That more or less what a rubber meets the road there, you know, they learn, you learn from that, you know, books is fine and all that, but hands-on, it's no better than that. Absolutely. That people get in there and hands on and I'm looking forward to going on there and visiting We hope you your, come and do a show there. Yeah, we will do a show there, I call it, I, you know, well, Bob, Chef Bob is doing a fantastic job with the, with the program over there and, he, and he's come a long way. It's come a long way. And, we and appreciate I'm, I'm your looking support. Forward, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing it open. And, um, you know, they get they, people learn how to do the food cost, labor cost, all this stuff, can, it, you know, it, it's uh, incorporated into business. It's not all... It's a it, complex it, business. It is. It's very, very demanding business. Uh, you know, the law would not let me open the restaurant. 
they said, just lock me down one because I'm already married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's sort of like another spouse. <laughs> I, I know that. Oh, Betty, 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 we'll put her foot down. There's no way. You know, you know, but anyway, I just think that I know you we have got a lot of a lot of programs going over there and, and, and a lot of skills are being But at least uh, you have a learned. cooking show, granddaddy. Yeah, yeah, that's that's part of it. But you know, we uh, uh, so many different avenues over there. If anybody's really wanting to get ahead in this world and, and hands on on new uh, adventures and whatever you want to do, or new careers, I I highly and, and, and uh, suggest they get in touch with the college and, and see what they got to offer. We would love, in fact, today we actually are having the second day of our fast track enrollment. Uh, fast Pass is designed for, we've got lots of hands on deck and really trying to get people in and get their financial aid process so they can get the classes that they wanted. And, you know, it's interesting that we have so many programs and we have high transfer rates to all the four-year institutions as well as is programs that go directly into the to the workplace, yeah. and very rarely do we ever have a student that we cannot come up with a, the the right financial uh, support to make sure that they can do this. So it's just about uh, taking seizing your future. Well, look, we're gonna take a little break. We're going back. We're gonna fix some food. Well, I, I'll let you use the time because the dishes I have today is very fast. They don't take long. Even you can do it. Oh my! And, uh, and you know, and, and Dr. Godwin. She says she has never cooked. But you know my show a long time ago, and I got you staring at something. I don't know what it was, but it was fun. We cooked a stir fry, and I've cooked it two or three times. So now my repertoire is up to what five dishes, <laughs> maybe, where people don't have to go to the hospital afterwards. <laughs> but don't go away, folks. We're right back. We're going to do some salmon. Yeah, this is one of the finest, delicious dishes you can ever find anywhere. Be right back. Reasons to choose Quality in Dutch Inn, newly renovated banquet rooms, affordable catering, hotel, restaurant, and lounge all at one facility. Call now and make reservations for our banquet room. For birthdays, anniversaries, family reunions, weddings, retirement parties, weekly business meetings, and more. The Dutch Inn Lunch Buffet, Monday through Friday from 11 till 2. Don't forget about the Build Your Own Omelette Bar every Saturday and Sunday morning. Dutch Inn, 2360 Virginia Avenue, Reservation 647-3721. Hey everyone and welcome to Everything Outdoors, your one-stop shop for all of your yard, garden and landscape needs. Certified Class A contractors and a family owned and operated nursery, you can feel confident in knowing that you are working with the best. Here at the nursery, we offer everything from vegetables, flowers, trees, shrubs and pottery to help you create your perfect outdoor space. Project too big to do yourself? Let us help you out with a free estimate. Whether your yard needs just a little pick-me-up or a complete overhaul, give us a call or stop by and see us at Everything Outdoors, 6211 Virginia Avenue in Bassett. Hi, I'm John. I'm the pharmacist here at Rocky Mount Family Pharmacy. We'd like to invite you to come visit us and get all your prescription needs and health care needs filled here. We save you money on your prescriptions. We offer free delivery. We offer a family atmosphere. We treat you like family. We're located in the Shul Shopping Center on Route 40 West, like you're going to Ferrum here in Rocky Mount. That's 1165 Franklin Street. And our phone number is 489-5400, and that's area code 540. Come see us today. The all-new Blue Ridge Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram in Martinsville is different. How, you ask? The best price is clearly marked on every vehicle in stock. There's no haggling, no hassle, no negotiating. That's right, our sales team will help you pick the car that's right for you, not the deal that's right for us. Plus, with our guaranteed credit approval system, you'll drive home today in your new car during the Drive and Discover event. Only at the all-new Blue Ridge Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Martinsville. Cross from the Speedway on Greensboro Road or visit us at the Blue Ridge Way. Hey, 
we're back, and today we're going to do a grilled salmon. I think you're going to love this dish. I guarantee you'll do it at home because after you finish, it's no cleanup. Not oh, really I love that. Very I much. love that. And, and the dish is delicious, and it's, and it's one of my creations. I think I love it. I, I've had a lot of people bragging on it. First of all, all you're going to need is a nice piece of tin foil. You know, that's right. And I always put the shiny side up. It's going to replace heat back down in when you put it. You spray a little bit of spray on there for me. We'll just keep it from sticking it, and, but it, it that don't leave much. And is the, are these just regular? The, these are salmon steaks. Yeah, these are salmon salmon fillets, and these are, are farm raised, so they're not. But any salmon would do. These are about eight ounces uh, fillets each, and I'm gonna make two because we have to guess here today to be to be wanting to taste this, you know. So we just put them right in the center, and we're going to start out with, uh, now, you know, fresh vegetables come in the garden now, too. So yep. go out to the garden and get you a fresh green pepper. I mean, that's, they're, that's, they're all over the place. And the three bumps is good for salads and so forth, sauteing. And it's sweeter because we're going to use it here because it is sweeter and we're not sauteing really. And the four bumps is good for some uh, sauteing and, and cooking with Whatever, but they're not quite as sweet as these ones. I just learned three things. That being said, now let's pull this aside over here and get on the real. Uh, so this three, this is what you're talking about, the three? Three bumps, yeah. The, and it's sweeter. Have, yeah, the four bumps. I've never killed my bumps in the, in you will now. the green peppers. And the, <laughs> they you, might haul me in. You probably will now. Uh, you don't have to chop these really fine, but uh, they're fine because when they, you want them to cook in and the flavor and then so you don't want them a lot of big or they cook better with the smaller pieces. So, and I should have brought my chef knife down and I did not. I probably have a florist knife in my purse, but that wouldn't work. No, too I don't well. think that worked too good. But anyway, we're going to just chop this up. Oh, it smells good. And, But you know, uh, look at there, you're not bleeding or anything. I'm very you know, impressed. But with this knife, you're gee whiz, you know, I, I'm not, I, I like my, my chef knife. I don't know why I didn't bring it down here. I really, because you were here, you I, I just put a job. Yeah, I'm not going to be offended by that, but I, I, it was probably a wise move. You're, <laughs> you were thinking ahead. Okay. Uh, take it. It's just don't, they don't pop of it right there. You know, and, and uh, then I'm going to use a fresh homegrown tomato. If you notice, I, I got a couple of white tomatoes on my deck. Wow, I'm impressed. I got, I got tomatoes and all kinds of herbs and spices growing on my deck. This is a beautiful environment, too. And, uh, Betty worked hard at it. <laughs> that making me do it. <laughs> well, she was a supervisor. She was a good one, too. Inspiration. Yeah, and the whip helps. <laughs> Anyway, we, we're going to chop a fresh tomato, you know, it's the same way, you don't have to be really, uh, really, really fine with the thing, but, uh, and it also gets some nice oh, color. No, no, no. It does. My grandmother believed that you had to eat foods of all different colors, that that was a secret to good health. Well, you know, uh, the, the looks of food, it, it makes a big difference. People eat with their eyes, and mm -hmm. if it looks good, it normally tastes good. Well, now, except when look, I'm cooking it. Now, if it don't look good, don't eat it. <laughs> And put that on top of it also. I made an egg custard one time with no sugar. It, it looked beautiful. It, just, it didn't work out for oh, me really? at all. Yeah. Okay. Now, we're going to put a little. Now, I use a sweet Valdea onion. Oh, yes. And, uh, because I, best. you know, uh, when I, because I think you got a better taste. And, um, but you know, talking about uh, restaurants. In my restaurant, I didn't have trash cans. I had plastic containers on the table. So when people are, are preparing food, and, and especially uh, onions or whatever, I, they could throw it in a pot right here, then I can come by and see what kind of waste we got. Oh, good point, good point. A lot of people and did you, you can compost that too. Yeah, I, that's what I do. I shop, but no, you know, another thing you can do, you can put it in a, in a pan and, and boil it, and you got some nice stock with soups and greens and so forth. So it's, it's all kinds of good stuff. I think that's a part of the students being able to run a real restaurant is you come into the fair about, you know, pro, your, your service time, your waste, all those, the finesse of running a business and operation, which makes you a great business owner, but it also makes you a better employee. I always told my employees, don't throw anything away until you use it twice. And then you throw it away. 
Because you, people throw more stuff in the trash can. Absolutely. And you start adding that stuff up at the end of the, the end. Well, when of, I owned the floors, I used to look at everything on the floor. And I, that was all my profit. All right, put that on the top. We're going to have a full house, you know. Oh, look at here. Oh, yeah. Pack this is in. amazing. And then I'm going to have... Uh, it's really this. pretty, no matter how it tastes. And I got some minced garlic here. We're going to put a little minced garlic on. Can on never have too much garlic. That there. And also a couple of pats of butter. Now, are straight. you a real butter guy? Yeah, this is real butter. Yeah. If I, if I don't, yeah, I use smart balance because it has omega 3s and all this stuff is better for you. But butter can't beat the taste of butter. I still have my mother and grandmother's uh, butter bowls. Then we're going to have the limp the juice from one lemon. And you go ahead and put it on it now. Interesting. That's about the size right there. You can see it for enough. But anyway, now. I kind of feel like Vanna White just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get one of these right here. Okay, let's just bring this back over here on top of the cup so I can get it. Oh, How beautiful. Wait till I'll pan. It even looks good. All right. Let's go. So now what you just make a tent. You don't, you know, you don't want it real tight. You, you make sure the steam, the steam cooks it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all those flavors stay right inside here. And, uh, and this, see, that's all you do right there. Then we're going to just lay it on the grill. Oh, now, you don't, if you don't have a grill at home, you can put this in the oven at home. It doesn't matter. But I like that. I cooking. do have a grill, yeah. And I like it out here. So we're going to do another dish. Uh, this one is being prepared. Um, and what are you cooking on that and how long? What's your temperature? Oh, we're temper are you about 350. I mean, this one here we get up in a minute. I had to top up for it. I'm going to take a few minutes to get up there. And it, it takes about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to cook. And we take oh, that, make sure it's flaky. That's all. We'll, we'll check it before we, we bite into it. And it come out flaky. But uh, see, it's so easy. Now, when you come out, when you bring this out, we'll show you that it, it is the juices. It's delicious if you want to put it in your baked potato. Ooh. With that being said, done, we got that done. We're going to come right back and I'm going to show you how to do a Pablo's flat iron steak with red pepper salsa. You're going to love this dish. We'll be right back. Reasons to choose Quality Inn Dutch Inn, newly renovated banquet rooms, affordable catering, hotel, restaurant, and lounge all at one facility. Call now and make reservations for our banquet room. For birthdays, anniversaries, family reunions, weddings, retirement parties, weekly business meetings, and more. The Dutch Inn Lunch Buffet, Monday through Friday from 11 till 2. Don't forget about the Build Your Own Omelette Bar every Saturday and Sunday morning. Dutch Inn, 2360 Virginia Avenue, Reservation 647-372. Hi, I'm John. I'm the pharmacist here at Rocky Mount Family Pharmacy. We'd like to invite you to come visit us and get all your prescription needs and health care needs filled here. We save you money on your prescriptions. We offer free delivery. We offer a family atmosphere. We treat you like family. We're located in the Shules Shopping Center on Route 40 West, like you're going to Ferrum here in Rocky Mount. That's 1165 Franklin Street. And our phone number is 489-5400, and that's area code 540. Come see us today. In Martinsville is different. How you ask? The best price is clearly marked on every vehicle in stock. There's no haggling, no hassle, no negotiating. That's right, our sales team will help you pick the car that's right for you, not the deal that's right for us. Plus, with our guaranteed credit approval system, you'll drive home today in your new car during the drive and discover event. Only at the all new Blue Ridge Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Martinsville. Cross from the Speedway on Greensboro Road or visit us at thebluridgeway.com. <laughs> Come on down to Los Nartanos, right next to the Dutch Inn. Great food, great prices, and you're always guaranteed to have a good time. So come on down. 
to Los Norteños, next to the Dutch Inn. At Memorial Hospital of Martinsville in Henry County, we understand the power of home. Knowing that Memorial Hospital brings the latest technology and the best medical professionals together for you, our families, friends, and neighbors, right here in Martinsville, is sometimes the best medicine. When you need cardiac care, time is critical. Our expert cardiologists are just moments away, meaning better outcomes for you and your heart. The best in care, the closeness of family and friends, that's the power. Hey, hey, we're back, and we got to we got to rush through this. And we're gonna do this flat iron steak I told you about. And you go to, and get your grocery, get you a nice whatever size you want. It'll, uh, it'll do, I just got a pound one right here, about a pound. And I got didn't marinate. You only marinate about 30 minutes, and uh, the, the marination. I'll tell you that about that. Good. But right now we're getting on the grill, and uh, it, just take it out and, and get your grill. I like to get mine at 600 degrees already. You want to sear it so it won't. Uh, Ooh, that's hot. It's very hot. Watch it. Yeah, we'll stick it right on there. Ooh, I hear it. Don't you? And let it sear. And then, the marinade on, on this is, is you grab with some grated orange zest and a quarter cup of orange juice, and some set, uh, grated uh, lime zest, and then some lime juice. And then you got your some fresh um, uh, extra virgin olive oil. I'm not giving you ingredients on how much you're gonna, how much steak you're gonna have. So you, you don't need a whole lot if you want to. But the uh, orange juice and, and a little bit of uh, lime juice gives you a lot of liquid in there. And then you got uh, cloves of garlic and brown sugar. And, it uh, smells so good as it goes to my nose. Powder. I would Supposedly, probably be a sheep. But anyway, probably that. I would be a sheep. And then the salsa. Would you hand me the salsa out of the refrigerator? Probably I would be a chef, Granddaddy. A little orange bowl. I might be a chef. You just might. That'd be a... Here we go. And uh, th this you can't see it well, but you will see when we get on, on the steak on it is a... Ew, delicious. I don't like stuff on the steak. And, and then we, well, you it's know, beautiful. we got the chopped red pepper, which is all in here. Then you, you got a, a cucumber, seed it, and chop. And what else you got in here? Onions? I can't remember all of it. Um, no, is that vinegar? And chopped red pepper. It's um, vinegar in there. I don't chopped like Chopped cucumber, uh, red onion, and cilantro, and the jalapeno pepper. Do you like so vinegar? That may, and that tastes yes, a little hard, too. I don't, you, I'll show you how to the presentation in a few minutes on this thing. So now, oink, oink, oink. I, it don't take long to sear these steaks at 700 degrees, 650. We have a sweet place over there. Oh, it's edible. Edible? Yeah. Look at that steak, Carson. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's going to be good. Woo! You know, when you cook steak, you cook it to your liking. You know, some people like it rare, be rare. Some people like it well done, scorched. Oh, that doesn't smell too well. Like, I like to just knock the horns off and cook it. And, uh, and, and, and uh, turn it over. Come I on. like it pretty rare, too. I, I, you're my kind of lady. I my husband it. likes I it. I do like it. To death. I do like well, it. Well, I feel it is it's different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my, my wife was that way when I first met her, and then I, I got her, now she's eating eat medium. Sometimes she do a medium rare, but, uh, but she's learning. She's still learning process. But I just think that when you cook one well done, you, you cook the juices out of it, and the the flavor's gone. And you have jerky. People. Beef jerky. No! <laughs> I have... We made some fresh squeezed lemonade, which is uh, I would like to. Can you get me some? No. Please. Okay, you. Tell you, you put sugar in your gray lemonade? lemonade. A little. Little. I like little. Uh, Thanks. Hang out of it. You put sugar. Keep the tart. Yes. Yeah. Just to take the lot of lemon, but just to just a touch to take the the spin Would off. You it. Like and then for my husband, who likes a little sugar with his lemonade. Yeah. A little uh, lemonade with his sugar. Uh, I put, Mr. Jim's has had about three cups of sugar in it. Here. That's yeah, what right you want some? I'm going to pass right this moment. Oh. 
This right here is, a, is stevia. Stevia is, is oh, a sweetener. Oh, yeah, natural. Yes, I bought that as an organic stevia. And that is, if you're diabetic or whatever, that is, uh, you can yeah, use beautiful. that. And it's for, you can it's, also it's, cook it's it. It's sweeter, too. You can? You can also cook it in front. Yes, you can. You can it's a natural it. sweetener. Yes, yeah. I love it. And uh, We've also got... Some lemony taste. Yeah, some lemon, lemon uh, grass over there. Lemon grass. And what's in the middle? It's good for soup. Makes a good soup. Yeah. What's in the What's in the center? Mm. What goes in your baked potato? Chives. Right. Yes, I love chives on baked potato. But we can we can pick some and put on the steak if you want to. We could. You can cut it in little bitty speckles. Would you like to get some and put on the steak? Okay. All right. We're, yeah, we got this going, and uh, the steak is Woo! just about there. It didn't take long. But first of all, while this is, this is finishing up, I'm going ahead and take out uh, the salmon, and we're going to get that um, plated up. So we You've got a lot of help here, Paul. I, uh, I, I, I hope you're work. feeling this moral support hot, over here. Hot, hot, hot. Woo-wee! Yeah. So there, your salmon is, should be done, with, but be sure you check it, make sure it's plate. Oh, oh, the smell, which has smell vision. Yeah. And... Mm, beautiful. Let me, uh... Nice cooked salmon. I'm going to take one of these out of here. I got two nice ones. But can you get the vegetables off for me? And, I, and when we're ready to eat, we will. So. But I, I just want to show this. This this is your salmon with only, and if you could only, and the, look at the juices in there. It says the delicious when you bake the potato. You want to pour it on the baked potato, it makes it great. But this, this is your salmon. Yeah, you, your best words is anything you want to go with it. Yeah, whatever you want to pair with that, it's up to you. But I like good baked potato. Patrick, any right. community college blue plate. Very nice touch. Yeah, it oh. is. And now, I'm going to turn this off. So, uh, this is the best part. Let me have... Mmm, that smells good. Smells very Where's good. Where's the platter I had? Uh, the white one, I don't know what I done with. There it is. Let me just let me just set that in the platter here. It's just to get it out of the way. Watch your hand. Oh. Got it. All right. Just sit right on the end over there. All right. Now the steak is coming off the grill. Look at that. Oh man, you can't find one any better looking than that. That is Beautiful. delicious. And now I will show you. This is right here. And one thing about this, you can cut it. Some mm. of it's gonna be well done, and some of it's gonna be not too well done. But can you, can I? Oh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out, so I'm going to make it, yeah, I just put the whole thing on the plate, and if we got guests over, let them help themselves. Well, well, that looks good. It looks very good. Woo! <laughs> now it's getting to the point where I like it, then it's getting them in the rare part, or the medium rare. You like it rare, or, or well done, Carson? I don't really care when it is. You, you know, just like steak. <laughs> it's so steak up. <laughs> man has his but anyway, man has his priorities in order. What I'm gonna do here with time I'm not gonna slice it all up the moose will just take this and just put it on your plate here. No me beautiful and how about the that stuff? Then then you put your red uh oh, no. red pepper salsa. <laughs> Like oh, that. I don't want that. There you go. There you two dishes I think what you're gonna really enjoy. And hey, but I don't like that stuff. Angela, it's been a pleasure having you with it's me today. It's been great to be here. It's and so much fun. I've been fun. educated in, in another way. Of what well, you I've learned college. all kinds of things. I'm, I'm, but, I know Mr. Hatton's gonna be very impressed when his wife <laughs> creates these two dishes. For but him. anyway, I, I thanks so much for uh, coming down and joining me today. What and, a beautiful uh, place! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Me. you might want to try some of this. I think we will try, try some of this. Yeah. But again, folks, I got hey, got thanks for tuning in today, got, and until next time, I, think I, got I hope God continues blessing I you as much as He has me. Until next time, I mean, this is Chef Paul. It's so long. I'll see you later. Sweat.